Next up is the EFE segment. The EFE stands for the External Factor Evaluation. Some of the work done in the EFE is based off the information that we gathered from the steeple analysis. In general, the EFE is a way to quantify qualitative factors. Let's first understand how the EFE works. After the factors have been narrowed down, they must be applied an initial weight. This weight is an analysis of how well the company is currently taking advantage of the opportunity or threat in comparison to the others. When assigning a weight, each opportunity or threat is assigned a number between 0 and 1, with the sum for both opportunities and threats equal to 1. As said before, the current weights are based on how well the company is currently handling an opportunity or threat and therefore the weights of each factor may not be equal to one another. After the initial weights have been completed, a second round of weighting is applied to each of the opportunities and threats selected. This second weighting is called the strategy weight. This is determined by the user how important each of the opportunities and threats is to the firm's strategy going forward. This strategy weight is a number 1 through 4, 1 being lowest importance and 4 being the highest. The user may apply these weights as needed, as there is no cap on the sum like in the first weighting. After the strategy weight has been completed, the final piece of the EFE is to calculate the final portion, which is to multiply the first weight by the second weight to get the final weighted value. Once this number is calculated, larger numbers become the most important and smaller numbers just the opposite. In summation, this helps determine what is important in the external environment and what is not. This allows the firm to find a good focus point. Now we will perform the EFE for Redbox. First will be the opportunities that we have identified for the firm. First is that DVD rental is cheaper than a subscription to digital streaming services, specifically for one-time use. This means that to watch one movie, the cost of renting a DVD is cheaper than the monthly subscription, but as use rises, the cost per movie lowers with the use of a subscription. Either way, this is a great opportunity for Redbox because there are many people who pay for a subscription who are better off only renting once, meaning there are many people who would benefit economically from using Redbox rather than a streaming service. For this, it earns a weight of 0.15 and a strategy weight of 3. Redbox charges very low prices for movie rentals and this pricing is unlikely to change to keep Redbox competitive. Similarly. Our next opportunity is that DVD rentals are cheaper than going to the movies. This holds true almost every time and is why Redbox has the opportunity to market to customers unwilling to pay the cost of seeing a movie at its theater release and would rather wait and rent the movie at home to save on the cost. On top of this, some people would rather rent a movie for their home where it is much more relaxed and comfortable with the freedom to pause the movie if needed. For this, it earns an initial weight of 0.15 and a strategy weight of 3, for a total weighted average of 0.45. Next, Redbox business model allows for a great opportunity that allows the company to save a great amount of money compared to other businesses. Their kiosk technology provides a lean model in which the company avoids paying employees to constantly manage their inventory and sales. Instead, the kiosk manages these two functions. With this benefit does come a trade-off. With new movies constantly being available to rent, Redbox must keep pace with the industry to maximize sales, meaning their goods turn obsolete to customers after a certain period of time. To combat this, Redbox must physically switch the DVDs in their kiosks, meaning they must pay an employee to do this. However, the number of employees needed under this business model is far lower than if Redbox used another form of service. For that, we rated this with an initial weight of 0.2 and a strategy weight of 4 for its importance. Moving forward, another trend we have identified through research is that DVD rentals rise in the times of economic recession. While we do not have a definitive answer, we could speculate that this is because many people do not feel like paying the price for a trip to the movies, especially families. This way, Families can still enjoy the movies without the price of an outing to the local theater. This was less important than most factors because it relies on the failure of the economy to bank on success. 
For this, we rated this with a weight of 0.1 and a strategy weight of 1. Our next opportunity the red box has is its potential customer base, millennials. As we said earlier in the steeple analysis, millennials are staying in for movies rather than going out. Because of this, the opportunity exists for millennials to use Redbox as a very cheap alternative for date nights at home. This also coincides with the fact that Redbox is cheaper than a subscription service for one-time use and has low commitment. This would be great for active millennials, especially, so they are not tied to a subscription at a monthly rate and only use the subscription service to feel as if they are getting their money's worth. This receives an initial weight of 0.15 for its importance to Redbox right now, but a 2 for strategy weight. Our last trend as an opportunity which has the potential for Redbox to succeed off of is that DVD rentals thrive in low income and remote areas. Intuitively, DVD rental is higher in low income areas because the population cannot afford to have excess expenses, such as streaming service subscriptions. On top of this, people of low income may not be able to afford the internet bill or phone bill either. DVD rentals are also more accessible in remote areas because of the limited internet capability. This way, DVD rentals are one of the easier forms of entertainment as compared to streaming services. This receives an initial weight of 0.25 and a 2 for strategy weight. The next segment will deal with the threats facing Redbox in the external environment. We have identified five threats to contrast the six opportunities. First, Redbox's biggest threat is that streaming is much more convenient than DVD rental. Even though it is cheaper compared to a subscription service, the truth of the matter is that if you could rent or watch a movie from home without leaving, why would you ever leave? This is a threat the Redbox has a very hard time dealing with. For that, we have weighted this with an initial weight of 0.3 and a strategy weight of 2, making a total weighted average of 0.6. Moving down the list, the next threat to Redbox deals with the legal battles incurred by the company. Recently, Redbox has encountered a number of legal battles, notably one with Disney. Disney won the legal battle, which essentially prohibits Redbox from renting movies for a certain period of time to allow Disney to generate revenue from its own DVD sales. While the legal battle was a drop in the bucket, the implication that Redbox is now delayed in the DVDs it has available to rent is a major threat to the company. For that, its weight is a 0.15 and its strategy weight is a 2. Next, Redbox has faced serious competition from its competitors with what movies each business has to offer. Subsequently, major subscription services are creating their own original content, which requires a good amount of capital. Because of this, popular original content movies are unavailable to Redbox for rental because streaming services want to keep a captive hold on their own content exclusive for members. Recently, Redbox has announced that they will release their own original movies soon, but they are behind in the market for creating their own original content and are therefore unestablished. The initial weight of this threat is a 0.2, but its strategy weight is given a 4. Coming down the list, Redbox faces threats from its competitors of an illegal kind. I'm sure you have heard of pirated movies and ways to stream movies without a fee, or in other words, illegally. While it seems odd that this could be a threat to Redbox, these sites have evaded law enforcement for some time and managed to allow people to watch just about any movie without a cost. For this, the initial weight is a 0.15, but it is only given a strategy weight of 1. Closing up, the last major threat against Redbox is that there is a good amount of oversaturation in the streaming industry, and Redbox is severely late to the party. Companies like Netflix and Hulu own a great majority of the digital streaming market, and it seems hard to believe that there is room for more businesses, at least to make money. In the past, Redbox has created a streaming service and failed. There were murmurs Redbox would attempt this service again, but it seems that it would only end in the same way. In this respect, this threat earns a weight of 0.2 and a strategy weight of 4.
Now that we have completed the external factor evaluation, we will move these concepts into the SWOT analysis.